Hello, and welcome to another episode of my survival playthrough of Space Engineer. This is the hole I have dug for the ice I have been mining so far. Uh, that was before the drill rig. Now, look at what the hole looks like now. This gives me so much more ice than this ever gave. Um, I have had a little problem, um, no problem, but I have been running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and changing um, and putting on more drills as they hit the, the top here. Um, and I've been drilling some stone too, which by the way was okay. Um, then I noticed um, that uh, this one actually kept going. Um, and it actually kept going 72 more meters. Um, so my plan is if I ever need to uh, to mine more ice, um, which I might do, um, because today I was uh, planning on making a hydrogen ship so that we can come into space and search for more um, that I will uh, modify this yet again and uh, make a, a drill rig that goes down in the ground instead so um, just so you know that this one is actually there to just kind of take the edges off uh, for the ice that comes out here and stuff. Um, but I talked about that I manually had to get out here. That's actually not the case. I have been I have been studying and I have been studying the use of timers and discovered that you can actually a timer can actually call itself. Which makes it possible to uh, make this go back and forth the way you want it. First of all, I just want this over here. Um, current angle 360, that means that I have locked it there. Um, not moving and if I take the reverse then it goes over there and the reverse from there it should go back it does and hello oh that's why <laughs> because back is actually here and I have to go to minus 55 and 55 here now it's moving. I just have to stop it when it gets over to um, over to the one the thing there. The other thing I have to do is oh, I have to put on the drills. I see. Oh, no, it's hitting on something. Okay, I just turn this on and I get some extra ice. Yay! Okay, uh, what we need to do. Um, while we build and uh, while we build and set up the, <laughs> I have no control over my hands today. Okay, um, why this one? Uh, why we set up and, and, and program the timer is that um, I will have to measure how much time it takes to go from there to there, uh, and I'll do that with a timer that I have uh, next here uh, and while it slowly moves from one side to the other um, I will tape it tape it I would I will time it that was, wha that was what I was going to say all right so I have the amount of seconds it takes for it to go from here and over there I reckon it'll be about three minutes, um, but let's just time that 
So I go in. And I know I could with a piece of pin and um, the rotation speed and stuff like that. And to know the degree of angles and with a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. ah. That's. Even though I, I have a mathematics degree, I don't want to do that. Um, I'll just punch reverse and start my timer at the same time. Okay, the timer plan. Um, it's there. I'll put the timer, and I need interior plates, construction comps, and computers. And that. Construction comps and no computers. No, nope. I actually need to deposit some of this, but it's no hurry. Computers. No. I'll just slap it on top of here, and I just want that. Come on. I. Uh, holy crap. I just want it. No, no way. That's the way I want it. Like that. <laughs> I'm sorry about my lack of control. I'm kind of wrong. Oh, I didn't have enough then. Okay. I don't know why it's. Uh, why I'm not hitting the right points today. Right. Timer block set up, and this is almost over. I'll just wait until that's done. And I know that this timer is totally uh, not working right now, or or with no use right now because I've already did the mining. But we can use this to go over and put it on my drill rig over there. Um, I just m make it mine the, the gold we need. Now, it stopped. It's 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So that'll be 140 seconds. Right. That's the time it takes to go from one place to another. And that is that is necessary because when we go into the timer block, which we are here, we have to set up point one, a delay, and um, some axes here. If we set up the delay first, control click it, and then 140 seconds to 20, that's just 10 seconds too many, so 130. Um then you have to set up actions. What you're going to do now here is that you want to extend the pistons first. You take your pistons and you choose extend. Then you take your pistons again. Oh sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, you first to you take your pistons. And then you increase maximum distance. Now it's at 10. We'll have to change that later. And that it will do it. It will uh, extend by one meter at a time. Then you'll have to extend to the new maximum. Um, when that's done, um, you want to go to the advanced rotor, which is not in the group. Um, Lance rotor here. Maybe I should rename stuff um, and click reverse. You want to start it when it's out in one of the positions, and then you want to call the timer block again. I click start. What that would do is that when when you start the one, it will go to extend the maximum distance of the pistons by one meter 
uh, it will then extend to the new maximum distance. It will then tell the rotor uh, to reverse, and then it would call the timer block again and start it. But it does have this delay. So when it starts, you should have gone all the way over to the other side. And that should make it start over again. So let's see if that is right. We just have to go into the pistons. Uh, oh, we do have a... Uh, just delete it. Let's just take these two and call it ice drill rig pistons. So I'm not going to confuse that. Oh. What is that? Can't be. Uh, save. Um, and these pistons, I want that the maximum distance is zero. Maybe I just took the one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Ice drill rig pistons. Cool. Now, what I want to do now is that I want to take my timer block and because I know I'm going to use another one over at the gold mine, I will just call it that one and I will trigger now. That will start the delay um, and the time to trigger will start. The only downside of this is that and it'll blink to tell you that it's a trigger. Oh! Oh no, I should have told. Uh, well, whatever. Trigger now actually makes it jump the first one delay and just trigger the all the rest of the stuff. Okay, now it turns over here. It does has not. Uh, it has not extended. So let's see what happens when we get over here and see if it doesn't extend. Because that thing, that flashing there means it's actually triggering, uh, or sorry, it's actually counting um, for the delay. And the delay is counting down. So, um, oh, oh. I have my first. I just take the spectator cam and go over to watch. Oh, it's seven kilometers away. Oh, maybe I just up the speed a little. Oh, and it despawned. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, but I am beginning to to uh I am beginning to get um overflying care overflying cargo ships which are not friendly to me. All right. Back to F6. Okay. Now, I just want to see how far the trigger is. 8 seconds. That seems about right. So it gets over here and it extends. No, it does not. Why doesn't it not extend? If I go into the pistons. They're not extended. So what am I doing wrong here? Is it all the thing that I put it on trigger now? I not Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> all right. That's because. Uh, how dumb do you have to be, man? Um, I'll just re I just remove that group. And called it uh, ice drill rig pistons. Uh, uh, so we wanted to increase maximum distance and then 
Extent. Uh. Oh well, the good thing is that we have, we have gotten the, uh, we have gotten the repeat pattern to work again. To work, um, it did go over to the other side, and when it reached the other side, it reversed. So, um, I just want to, I just want to move that one on so I can keep an eye on what it's doing, and it's 32 seconds. Maybe I can cut off a few seconds. Still moving. It should get over here where I can see it. Yeah. 20 seconds. And how far when it stops at the angle end? Couple of seconds, no problem. Come on, come on, come on, extend. It's extending! Yeah! And then it returns. So, this is the pattern now. That, um, you get it to go back and forth, and then you extend the drill rig once in a while. Every time it gets over here. And the extra seconds you have over here is actually going to extend and then go around. That should make it work. Um, I'll we'll just let it go here and see if that's not. Um, and it'll just push me gently along. I hope. I'll just put these on and get away from all the noise. All right. But we should now be looking after um, after the, the the red dots that we say that we have spawned. Now I could go over and do the same thing on the drill rig, but first of all, I want to kind of get started on my hydrogen ship. Um, and I put it right over here. Let's put it start here. So I'll clear out my hopper. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use a landing gear. I'm a, these icons with this symbol on is because I bought the, uh, some kind of upgrade module or extension module. That more is. Um, that gives me um, that gives me more blocks to work with, but you will have to have that option. So I'm not going to use those, even though you even though you can see them. Um, and no, I was in my G menu, huh? I need a cockpit again, but that one is actually part of. Uh, the vanilla version too, so uh, they made an upgrade so that moved that one over in, in the vanilla. Um, and what do I need then? I need an O2 generator, and now I actually need it. Um, oh, not zero two, O2. Um, then I'll need. Uh, I'll need I need a tank. No, I know, yeah, I need yeah. I need cargo. Um and I think because we can't carry too much anyways. And then I want the tank. And I want the, the hydrogen tank. And I'll speculate whether I should have two or more of those. Uh, what I need anyways, before I get started whatsoever, is that I would need oh, what's that? Right. I would need some steel plates and another red dot. This one's four kilometers up. Alright. Um, I need some steel plates and some 
interior plates. So that should get me able to put stuff down. Oh, I will like to just see what they are. Um, even though they when when they are just up here. Um, They won't. They won't detect me. Um, until I'm uh, inside 800 meters, uh, or or unless that's it. This is a cargo ship, so it's an AI flying it. Um, but it will be at all times. Now, this is not smart. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point here, and then I'm going to um, hit. Oops. Control set. Come on. Isn't it control set? Oh, maybe I can't. I yeah, should be able to do that. Huh. I'm sure that is control set. Hmm. <laughs> I can auto. I can auto lock to this one, so I'll continue the same flight with that. And I think that's uh, control set, but I can't. Hmm. Well, I'll find that out. Because then I'll just follow it in the same uh, speed. Hmm. I'll show you that another time. I was sure there's control set. But, whatever. I'm down here. I'm down here. <coughs> I am down here. Um, and I want to put down now a... And again, I know there's an unknown signal. But I have so much resources now. So all I actually need from these resources are... Uh, the ultimate tools, um, but they are so rare, so um, so I won't just take my time to go out there right now. I have other stuff to do. Now, what I was going to say that this will not attack me. It'll just uh, fly over there, and um, it'll make my I guess my factions, unless it's one of these. Um, it must be one of these then. I will be able to see what they are like. No. Whatever. Landing gear. Um, five. And the small grid landing gear. And... Yep. I just... And I need a motor to make it working. Just to make it run on, because um, I will be distracted if they're coming more of those, uh, and that will will not be here when I come back. Right, I'll just lift it up. Um, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. That should give me space to get underneath. And just an extra two to make sure that the engines are not frying off anything that I put on there. Right. What did I do that for? Well, I have to get up here and put on a cockpit. So I'll just go with the standard cockpit. Um, and then I'll take my O2 generator. And you can see that the O2 generator has um, a big one in the back and two small ones in the front which can line up with the ones that I have in the uh, in my cockpit which are in the middle too so um, I will turn this around and put that in the middle there right now I actually need and I was too quick to move the junction I need a conveyor junction um, Just slap that down here. To um, to put on back up here because on the side of these I should have. Oh, that's because I took the sorter. Did I take the sorter? 
No, that's the junction. That's just just because I took. All right. Um, there, that's the one I want. Um, it has four large ones on each side, and some small ones on the top. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my my medium cargo container, uh, eight, because uh, they have small ones on the side and big ones on the other and I will put it so that the big ones are here now that will do that um, it will transport anything between the cargo containers but because I have um, a small connection to my cockpit uh, it would only take in ores and certain components that way so uh, once I get my drills on stuff uh, and, and put this on that will be uh, uh, stuff that I can't take from my cargo container and out that way. Um, but I'll think I'll live with that. Now I'll take my tank, fine, and I will put that one on there. Um, as you can see, it is uh, that's four small ones and two big ones. So, otherwise it's symmetrical, so I'll just put it on like that. Um, and then, I'll need to... Well, actually I could have taken, I'll just show that. If I use Control 2, I'll actually get over to a second hotbar. Uh, where I... I can just clean all that up. I can continue with what I need. I still got my one. Just over at number two, I have, I have nine of these. So if you plan ahead, you can actually do that. <coughs> if you plan ahead more than I do, you can actually do that. Um, now I'll need some batteries that I've already cleaned out from right there. And I will need, uh, before I forget it, some gyros and an ore detector. And what else do I need? I need thrusters. Um, let's take that one because I have both the large and the small thrusters in there. Then I will need a sorter. Small conveyor sorter and an ejector. Because once I get up in space, I don't want to carry all the stone home. And instead of manually dragging it out from the car containers and dropping it in space, I can get the ejector and the sorter to take all the stone I don't want and eject it while I am drilling. Right, and I need... Well, I was talking about that. I need some drills. And... That's all I can remember. Right. Um, let's put on some batteries. I'll put them on the side here. Like that. Come on there and oh I need some lights too huh. what why is it showing me a small barrier come on why is it a small battery all of a sudden hmm all right um and I need to... Oh, come on. Right. That was the batteries. And um, I'd like to need a connector too. Yeah. I'll just put that on while I remember. And I remember this because I'm beginning to put on my... Uh, my thrusters here. Um, I have a big one on the bottom here, 
Um, so I'm going to slap that on there. And I'm beginning to lose sight of... Come on. That's one. Of where stuff are. And um, I know I'll need uh, a large atmospheric thrusters here in the back. Not atmospheric thrusters, it's hydrogen thrusters. Thank you for yelling so loud I could hear it. Um, it was hydrogen thrusters. Um, like that. And like that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to weld up, um, because now I'm losing sight of where I am and what stuff I'm doing and where the ports are. So, um, And I can see that my drill rig is still going, so that's okay. Right. See you back. Right. Um, I have been welding this up, and just to make sure that you begin um, you can see that I could put the ice over here but I couldn't put it uh, somewhere else yeah, like the O2 generator so I will go the other way around and then I can put it in the O2 generator because ice is ore and ore can go through small so now it is producing uh, some ice to go to the tank. And I was just wondering if I have placed this wrong. <laughs> no, that should be alright. <coughs> but I haven't welded that one. That's why this shit ain't working. Uh, I didn't say that. That's why it is not working. I have not welded up my conveyor junction. Alrighty. Because everything is connected up and I can see them uh, all the way through. Um, this the uh, My hydrogen bottle here will not fit through a small um, a small conveyor system. The reason it fits here is because the cockpit also has a large one. Um, which I am thinking about is actually where I want my connector. Mm. Yeah. Right. Nothing is so bad that I can't change it. And uh, the reason I want that is because there's no uh, large connector here. So I would have to do some piping, but I want the connector over here instead. Um, now, I want to put on the thrust thrusters. They are on two, and that would actually be... Yeah, I'll put on right here. And I want to put... Uh, I have enough lift, I should be able to fit three and I want the, the small connectors to align up like that um, then I'll need a small conveyor system which I do not have because that's just a sorter um, but because the sorter is part of that, I'll just put one down there. Right. What I need is I want to connect um, these small converters up to the tank. So I will take this one and just make three. And just for symmetry's sake, I'll do the same on the other side. This will go wrong in so many ways, I can feel it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now you can see that my hydrogen thruster actually is uh, 
that's one of the reasons why I want to put that on so I can see that it actually is actually working. Um, so what I'm thinking is that uh, ah, never mind what I'm thinking. It's surely not of any use. Uh, oh, and we have uh, the reason I want to see these is I want to Oh, where is it? Uh, what? What? Uh, I want to see where the connectors are because at one point it would be nice to uh, it would be nice to be able to take one of these down just for the sake of it. So I just want to see where all the turrets are. That's a break. <laughs> but because I want to take in, it's because of that green light there. Oh, too fast. It's because of that green light there, because that indicates that you have a reactor with uranium in it, which I need to build better tools. Um, where? There. So that's, uh, that's why I'm interested in putting one down, unless I'll find something up in the atmosphere. Right. F6. Um, and then I need to put I need to put I just put the injector on here in the bottom. I'll put on the sorta first and then the injector. Um, so be a sorta and I want it to Come on. The last one, and it went wrong. I just want to put it there, and then the ejector. I keep telling myself that the reason why you should see all the mistake is for educational purposes. Um, just so you know it. But I am a little bit... I am a little bit, um, well, I'm ashamed of myself sometimes. That is. Right, I want to put a conveyor sorter on here, um, and here, and here. That's not a conveyor uh, And I said sorter, I mean junction. That's the only reason I... It's not nice to have two sets of two sets of uh, uh, toolbars because I forget to keep switching them when I need to switch tools. That was that one, and it was not a curved tool. It was not a tube. It was a small conveyor, uh, and that's there. And that's there, right? Because then I want to put some some small. Um, some directional thrusters here. I'll make a little cluster of that. So if I go to number four and I take my hydrogen thrusters, put it on there and come on and put it on there and while I'm here just put it on here and here, actually, up here I can also put it to be braking thrust, and forward thrust. Um, so that cluster is done. That one cluster has up. Uh, doesn't really need down, but yeah. what the heck? The only trouble with uh, putting so many thrusters on here is that it'll spend a lot of ice. So I actually will not. I will not be using that one because I want to save on on my hydrogen. Because once we get use 
get using hydrogen, um, we will be spending a lot of it. Um, so that's the reason for that. And because I have ups and downs on both sides, once I do not stay in front of this engine too long though, it's on idle right now, but you can get hurt. It will cook you. Um, like that. Four, and I will put that one there. And that one there. No downwards. And then upward. There. I won't put anyone here because that will cook up the conveyor system uh, and of course I don't want it down because that spends too much hydrogen but I could think that I'll need some s oh, sideway thrusters here and here now now I have directional I'll have direction up and down, and I need the down because up in space I can't rely on gravity. Um, I have forward thrusters, I have sideways thrusters, so I only need braking thrusters. Um, I will actually use the conveyor posts down here to make braking thrust. Here. Uh, 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 uh. Um, and actually, I think, but I just want to put on the drill first to see how far and wide it goes. That doesn't look good. I'll have to grind those up and put them on the other way. All right, but I have to put on my drills to see how much of a footprint I have. And then on the side here, come on, like that, and like that. Um, nope. That's not what it's supposed to be. I'm not saying anything. <sighs> so either should you. <coughs> now, um, mm, mm, you know, it's uh, I like the kind of footprint it is there, and I'll just out and go to number two and make sure that I actually place it the right way this time which is not that way which is that way uh, and I'll need the power cells now because I have when I grind them up I miss I I won't have them. Let me see that one. Uh, it was twenty power cells. Three. No, oh, and eighty down there. Right. Let's see if that I if that is not enough. Right up here, I will place my. I want to keep that clear. Actually, what is that? <laughs> right. Uh, I want to put two gyros on. 
Yeah, yeah. Let's begin with two gyros. Um, my other two are number two. There and there. I might put others on uh, to make sure that it actually goes right. And uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Um, and then an an uh, an ore detector. Is the right way around there. Right now, I think that I am ready. Yeah, because I was thinking I might use this for uh, breaking thrust, put up a conveyor uh, thrusters, and then um, make that work. So let's see if that's a problem. But I will now go welding, and uh, I'll see you when it's uh, well when it's dark. I probably right now I have welded up everything. I just take a last check. All the motors should be flaring, not flaring, flaring. Um, and nothing should not be working so for all intended purposes now all I uh, yeah and I couldn't just leave it at that so I changed the battery um, and I also did another rookie mistake um, again is that I encased this uh, conveyor uh, junction with all that so I had to grind one of these off to be able to weld that one in there no resources lost, just pride being hurt. The last thing I would put on here is uh, lights. Um, and I will go into my G menu and I want to put on spotlights. Um, spotlights are directional and will give me, when I'm out in space, in cabins and stuff, will give me a um, no that's not used because my what do you say my um, drills would be in the way there and would give me the lights that I need um, so I will just put another one up there hope the grill match and there, and there, right. Um, to give them a better direction, though, I could put them on top with some rotors on it. But, <laughs> man! Um, but uh, as it is, I just, I just leave it here. Uh, Steel tube, come on. And bulletproof glass, right. Uh, none of that bulletproof glass. I don't need all that. And Large steel tubes and that's the rest. Right. Let's see if that shouldn't be enough. And we have a light. And a light. And a light. And all the grills match. Cool. Now before we do anything else, and the last thing I need is, is the connector, I am going to go in here and rename my stuff before I hit up, um, I connect up to uh, which I haven't met either. Haven't made either. Man. Well, that's quickly done. But anyways, I need to build a, a base connector for this one to land on. Um, I will just. 
What should I call the ship? Um, this is not. This is the space surveyor. What we call it as a name? Mm, I don't know. I have no idea what to call stuff like that. So we're going to put that on the group. just rename all the other stuff in my spare time but uh, because I'm going to use it and this one there I will call thrusters right um, I will just check on this one it has the maximum range, uh, but I could put it a higher or lower intensity. Um, and I could actually push it off a little bit, make it blank and stuff. But let's just leave it as it is. Maybe change the color a little bit. Um, to a little bit of yellow. That's too much. That's it, 55. just to make the hurt in the eyes disappear and I can see that I actually need someone on top but that'll be now um, now is the leap of faith um, let's see if this one will stay up by itself Ever. just while I'm here build the connector and then hope that it's far enough away not to be cooked by the thrusters motor and computers I will go in here and in my G menu I will take my connector, put it on switch lock. I will take my groups, my thrusters, and I toggle them on off. I'll take my batteries and show them to recharge on off. And instead of taking the drills from here, I will take the drills with my block tools. What that'll do is that'll enable me to right click um, and left click um, so that I can go from, from making a hole and uh, just removing stuff. I'll just. No, not enough of that. I'll just see if we have enough of that. And hmm, I don't know what's going to be like with um, with a load on, but uh, as this it can take its own weight, which not so bad. It's okay. And I have seen the red dot, but I'll just leave it there for a second. I think I'm actually um, pretty well set up. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to leave this hovering and I will go into my upside down. Sorry. I like that. 
I don't get motion sickness, so I have been told that I'm a pest. Um, and I will just connect this straight up to, and I'll connect it here because I need that corner for something else. Um, five, and I'll just take a tube and a tube so that I can s see which one I will have to uh, and um, tube and then junction and then a connector which I have here and of course I have not that's because I have to turn around man alright now I already know I can see that I done, did something wrong um, I can't move my shit because I'll need to uh, drill this up first or weld this up first because I won't be able to see that I need some interior plates for that one interior plate don't I have that here I do and to just put my connector on top of this get out of the way and I'll need steel plates for this some more maybe I should yeah I'll just order some more of those just because I'm running out um and I am aware that I'm not been welding that up so it's easy for me to say oh I am aware I just discovered I did something not so smart Construction camp. And green. Right. Yeah. <gasps> now, that should be connected all up. That one is going away. Right. So, I'm going to show you now that actually this gives me an idea um, because and I'll need I'm going to put something on here that'll make my life easier later um, I don't need the motors need consumption comps and I'll guess I need steel plates. Um, because I want to put some lights on here, interior lights.
just so that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, won't it fit on there? Alright, would it fit on the sides here? It'll fit there. Oh, I need that. Uh, fuel low. Fuel low. Uh, I'll put one there. Fuel critical. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um. can do now is that I have when I come like this I'll have um, lights when I go down and I will give that a radius on oh well let's just see maybe that's too much but now I will See what my point is. Uh, maybe I could just go down to five meters. And lock up and switch on. And my thrusters off. And my batteries to recharge. Now, what I wanted to show you now is that my tank. White as me is now being rapidly filled up by the hydrogen from my um, from my hydrogen storage downstairs, um, which is nice, um, and which is why I actually spent so much time mining the ice um, to go so I could go out should have the lights on something else but I'll fix that later and what I'll just going to fix is just have to go over here and see that it is going back and forth and only one of them is extended <laughs> okay I have made them I messed up my group um, designation uh, or just put the piston in here, uh, the single piston, but this is proof of concept. Uh, in fact, this should be like, this should be all the way out, like that. something wrong with this one or is it just the wrong speed it's just the wrong speed and it is going back again it's not getting all the way out here so maybe I should just give it a couple more seconds um, but this is the point so this one will this one will get mined and that one over there too but let's stop this up and let's call it a day because it is night. So I'll just stop the timer. Uh, put a rotor lock on it. And I still pistons. I can see that one is not in my group. I'll just add that one and save and click reverse and then this way they should all be reversing that one is reversing and that one is reversing and the last thing I'll just take all my drills Yep, 
yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now I have my dress on the dress here and everything else on it because I haven't. This ice drill rig. What? Oh, I got cut out. Alright, I'll do that later. But for now, we have made yep, a hydrogen ship, and the next episode we will go out in space. Yeah. Right so, goodbye. And